Now at six, it's been years since Mackenzie Mason attended Bloom Carroll High School, but she's been living a nightmare ever since she left. Her former basketball coach and athletic director had a sexual relationship with her for nearly three years. She says she now wants to share her story for other survivors. TNTV's Ashley Bornanson sat down with her to find out how this happened and how she's been able to cope with the trauma she's experienced. These are my sexual assault awareness bracelets and my mental health awareness bracelets. Um, they've got me through some of the hard days. Bracelets around Mackenzie Mason's wrist serve as beacons of light. But they're my reminder of what I've done and what I still want to do. The former basketball player at Bloom Carroll High School says her safe space was on the court. So it was an outlet and unfortunately too much of an outlet. Until it was taken away. Mason says things changed after the women's championship game in 2018. It's the first time that he ever made advances and touched me, and it was on the bus on the way back home. As her coach and athletic director, Mason says, I couldn't not go to practice, um, and I think that would have caused red flags. From that day forward, her whole life changed at just 15 years old. I went down a really dark path of drugs and alcohol, um, and I was kind of just numbing this pain. and. I don't know how I survived. I truly don't. Did you feel like he had power over the rest of your life? I did. Um, and he actually, like, he helped me in the process of finding colleges. So it was like almost uh, like going into freshman year of college, it was like, well, I can't let him down. It was through counseling. Mason says she built the courage to come forward. How do you feel now that he's behind bars? Um, I think I'll always feel like it was never enough. Um, so when the judge said four and a half years, it was kind of like a little stab in the heart. I was relieved, but for me, like, I get to live with this till the day I die. She shares this advice for other students. If you think it's inappropriate, find someone you trust. Um, and I think that's kind of where I lacked in my process of, well, the only person I trusted was the one doing it to me. Mason tells me she hopes sharing her story will empower more victims to find their voice. Reporting in Fairfield County, I'm Ashley Bornanson for 10 TV News. Thank you, Ashley. Well, Chad Little is currently serving four and a half years in prison for the crime, as you heard. After he gets out of prison, he'll spend the rest of his life as a registered sex offender. We reached out to his attorney and the school district for comment today, but have not heard back. It is a holiday.